Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast, The Road to Restoration. I'm Pastor Sergio Delamore. I'm so glad that you're watching or listening today. And whether you're on the road of restoration, you're falling off the road, need to get back on the road, or maybe you're just weary of being on this road of restoration, we're glad that you're listening because genuinely I believe it's not a coincidence that you're listening today. And I believe that today's message is going to be helpful to you and maybe someone that you know. And first of all, I want to thank you for being part of our community today. I'm at Voss Church in Ontario, California. Come on, somebody, with Pastor Robert Rocha. Good to see you, Pastor. Wow. It's great to be with you and members of your church today. Wow, what an honor. Thank you so much, uh, Voss Church, for backing this up. And Pastor Sergio, it's such an honor to be here. It's also special because we are at Mestiza Coffee Shop Yes, at 200 South. Euclid Avenue in Ontario. How about, somebody give it up for Mestiza Coffee Shop. Absolutely. I, I got some great news. They were awarded uh, Best uh, Small Business of the Year for this district in Ontario, California. So let's give it up one more time. They do such a great job. Thank you so much, Mestiza. I want to talk about healing today. Mm -hmm. um, there's a verse in the scripture. It says, a happy heart is good medicine and a joyful mind causes healing, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. So this talks, this text says that when our heart is happy, it's like good medicine and a joyful mind causes healing. What I'm thinking about is when you're in relationships, oftentimes we don't get healed before we get into relationships. Mm. And I think, um, Anyone that's been in a relationship that wants to get into a relationship that is restoring from a relationship, this scripture really helps us to realize that if, if we're going to be in a relationship, we have to have a happy heart. We have to have a joyful mind that's healed. Um, but when our spirit is broken, our bones are dried up, it's almost like we're not, we're not living at our maximum potential. Mm -hmm. Pastor, um, what would you say to a group of people that are in this room or that are watching who want to see healing in their life so that they can start living new relation, new relationships? Wow. What a scripture. First thing that comes to my mind when you talk about this is the part that says a joyful mind. So I want to break that down for just a moment. Joy is not a feeling. Joy is a decision. There is a fountain of joy. There is a fountain where we receive our joy from and the second word it uses it's mind so you have to have a joyful mind so before you can even get into a relationship you have to you have to uh establish the relationship of where your joy comes from because joy is not found in another person wow that's fire come on people <laughs> so, so many people make the mistake of saying if 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 I can just find my better half, the, the person who completes me. No, you, 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 you got it wrong. You, you have to, God completes us and then we can share from that complete place the joy of the Lord with someone else. I believe this is the first thing I think uh, people who are in the, in the road to restoration and uh, moving on into the next relationship, you have to. Uh, redefine where your joy comes from. Your joy doesn't come from a person. It doesn't come from money. It doesn't come from a career. Your joy comes from the Lord. And when you establish that, then I believe your heart is healed to be able to uh, move on in another relationship. Because if you don't do that, hurt people, hurt, hurt people. people. Okay, I want to ask a question by our audience here today. How many of you have ever been hurt in a relationship? Raise your hand. Okay. How many of you are lying right now? <laughs> okay. What was the most um, painful thing about being hurt in a relationship? Anybody want to add to the podcast? You were hurt. You were in a relationship. What did you learn as a result of that hurt? Anyone? I learned my value. You learned your value. Mm. What do you mean by that? Um, I didn't know who I was and I didn't know what I carried. Like I just, I found my value in that person. So they were my everything. So when our relationship fell apart, I ended up just being really hurt and I was confused. Yeah. I like that. 
He says, I found value mm. in myself, mm -hmm. no longer in the other person. Mm. That's healing. That's healing. And that's a mindset also. Okay. So a joyful mind. Your mind must be renewed. I mean, your mind is going to be transformed. Your, your life is transformed when you receive the revelation of who you are, whose you are. And once you know who you are and whose you are, you'll never leave, you'll never li live beneath that privilege of what God has already designed for you to be. Oh, come on, church. Come on, church. This is, this is great. The Bible says a happy heart is good medicine. A heart that is happy is good medicine. What does that mean to you? Well, there, from that joy, then there's happen. There's other things that are attached to it, right? Joy. You find joy in many things now. Uh, and so as, as you're, you find, find that joy, happiness, then now the feeling of happiness is, and the laughter is like good medicine. You know, la laughing is good medicine for you. That's true. Right. And, uh, and, when we realize that something from that joy bursts out and that's happiness and it begins to heal other areas of our life of our soul that was so broken and so happiness i think it is a result yes. of us finding the true joy that comes from a relationship with jesus christ i like how it says a happy heart because mm -hmm. You know, Proverbs 4.23 says, above all else, guard your heart, for out of it flows the issues of life, or your heart will determine the course of your life. Mm. I think oftentimes we don't guard our heart mm. in relationships. And when we don't guard our hearts in relationships, we become susceptible to the enemy's attacks. Wow. Um, has anyone in this place ever been in a relationship and you didn't guard your heart and you ended up hurt? Anyone? Okay, does anyone want to be honest about it right now? Because I just, okay. Uh, what hurts the most about not guarding your heart? Um, and I'm asking you the question. Well, when you don't, when you don't guard your heart, you, you, you go beyond the boundaries that were established. So let, let me give you an example. We all love the beach. I'm a, well, I love the beach. Most people here. How many of you love going to the beach? Yes. Love the beach. Do you know why we love going to the beach? I'm going to tell you why. And it's not the sun and the people around and the water. The reason why we love the beach is because the beach knows its boundaries. <laughs> That's right. We're safe. We are safe. But the moment the water goes further than its boundaries, we won't love the beach anymore. Wow. Because what is fun with what is good with boundaries, watch this, without boundaries, destroys, it hurts. And it it's it's horrible what happens when there's no boundaries. So when we don't guard our heart, we become like that ocean that just lets anything come in the tsunami and the, and it begins to destroy. Yeah. So when you don't guard your heart, you are allowing destruction to come into your life. And what's supposed to be good becomes bad. Can we just stop for a praise break right now, people? This is amazing. Okay. How many of you liking this one on relationships? Okay, then the Bible says, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. Mm. Have you ever been with someone whose spirit is broken and they're looking for you to be the healer of their spirit? Maybe you're watching us right now and you're sitting back on the couch or wherever you are and you're saying, that's me. I'm the one with the broken spirit. Um, I think anyone that's been in any relationship, sooner or later, is going to experience brokenness in the relationship. So I'm going to ask the question, how many of you have ever had your spirit broken because of a relationship? Can you show of hands? Mm -hmm. Show of hands. Okay. I think everyone raised their hand. They're being honest. They're being honest. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd's warming up. Yeah. <laughs> Pastor, this is a real serious topic. Yeah. It's serious. Yeah. Because nothing hurts more 
than a broken heart. Mm. Right? Absolutely. So what would you say to a person right now whose spirit is broken? Is there medicine for them? Is there healing for them? Is there restoration? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I think in order, before we can get there, we have to um, analyze what, where the damage came from and how did you get to that broken heart. And I believe it's because we place false expectations on another broken person and expect another broken human to heal and become everything or fulfill certain things in our life. And when we don't, when they don't meet those expectations and they fail us or they, they break our trust, our heart gets broken. So false expectations like we put, and sometimes it's our own fault. We put these expectations on people who are just as jacked up as we are. <laughs> Why do we do that? Because we're looking, I think we're looking for something. Every, everyone has what I call a God-sized void. And it's a God-sized void because only God can fill that void. Wow. Wow. And so we, we look at people as if they are the, the, the answer to our void. We look at careers or money and we find that it's the same empty pit over and over again. So to answer the question, there's one who will never fail you. There's one who gave it all before, before you even met him. And before you gave anything. And before you gave him anything. He gave it all. He paid it all. And this is the, the, the revelation. He will never disappoint you. And his name is Jesus Christ. Yes. Jesus will never disappoint you. You can put, he says, give me your burdens. Take my yoke for it is easy and my burden is light. And so... When we put things on people that are just as broken and hurt as we are, it's false expectations. And when they don't meet that, they disappoint us. But I'm grateful for Jesus Christ because he's the one that will never disappoint us. Never disappoint us. Come on, somebody. This is beautiful. This is great. I don't think there's a person today that doesn't want to be restored. Yeah. We, we all want to be restored. We all want to live our, our best life. Yeah. Um, but I want to end with this, and I want to ask you this question. If I'm going to try again, what should I do different this time? Well, well hold it. Let me first ask mm -hmm, the question. Mm -hmm. Does anyone want to try again? Mm -hmm. I'd love. Does anyone want another two hands, <laughs> three hands, four hands? How many of you are done with love? <laughs> okay, this is going to be a good one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I want to try again. What would you tell me very quickly? The, Help me. Um, I would say this. The problem is not the problem. The problem is the pattern. The problem is not the problem. The problem is our patterns. Yeah. You, you, in order to get a different result, you have to change the pattern. Uh, it's uh, it's not the wisest thing to do to continue to go back to the same type of people, the same type of value, people that don't have the same values as you. They don't have the same moral standards as you. They don't have the same beliefs as you. And in your desperation for not being alone or wanting to try again, you go back to that same pattern. So it's you're actually many people date the same people over and over and over again. They just have a different name. And so and so wow. <laughs> Come on, let's give it up for Pastor today. Hey everyone, thanks for watching The Road to Restoration. Woo, we're getting restored. Let's go. Jesus. And so today we want to encourage you to to like, to share, leave some comments. Um, you're part of this community. And we want to respond back to you. Uh, Pastor Rob, thanks again for being part of the conversation. And Vols Church, thanks for being part of the family. Let's go. And thank you for watching. God bless you.